Hey guys, in this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to get notes on Instagram on an iPhone. So if you want to get Instagram on your, or notes on your Instagram, then I'll show you guys exactly how to do it in this video today. So I don't wanna waste any of your time, let's hop right to the method. So I'm gonna show you guys three methods. And the first one that you can actually do is head over to the App Store and you want to make sure that your notes app or your Instagram application is all the way updated. You might think it's all the way updated, but it doesn't always automatically update. So you want to head over to Instagram and make sure that it's fully updated. As you can see here, mine is fully updated, but you want to make sure that yours is go uh, fully updated. So go ahead and make sure that it is. Now, once you've done that, you're going to want to go back to the home screen. You can head over to the Instagram application. So the second method that you can do to try and get Instagram notes, as you can see, I already have it. But to, if you don't have it and you want to get it, the second method you can do, click on your profile picture in the bottom right corner of the screen. And once you are here, you're going to want to click on the three bars in the top right corner of the screen. Once you click on that, you're going to want to click on settings and privacy, which is at the top of the screen. And once you're here, you're going to want to search in the search bar for professional account. So just search for like professional and then you'll be able to find this option for switch to professional account. You're going to want to go ahead and click on that. And then once you click on it, it'll ask you to switch to a free professional account. Just click continue, continue, continue and continue. Once you do that, you can put whatever you want in here. It does not matter at all. Just choose some random one. You know, it doesn't matter and click done. It's going to load for a bit. And once it loads, it's going to ask you if you're a business or creator. You can just choose creator or business. It doesn't really matter. But once you've done that, it's going to load for a bit. As you can see, it's now a professional account. Now, once you've done that, what you're going to do, you want to click on the three bars again in the top right corner of the screen and go back to settings and privacy. Once you're here, you're going to want to scroll down to creator tools and controls. And from here, you want to switch account type right here, which is right above add new professional account. Now, once you find that, go ahead and click on it and then click switch to personal account. Switch back to personal account and then it will switch you back to a personal account. As you can see here it is now just a personal account, but that might actually give you notes. It worked for me. It might work for you, but you have to go ahead and try it out and see if it works. That is the second method that I know. Now the third method, it's another really simple method. You click on your profile picture in the bottom right corner of the screen. You click on your uh, Instagram account in the top left corner of the screen right here and it shows these pages. But you actually don't know you want to click on the three bars in the top right corner of the screen again. I mean, once you click on that, you want to click on settings and privacy once again. From here, you want to scroll all the way down until you see the option for log out. Now, once you find log out, you're just going to, want to click on that and then you're going to want to log out all of your accounts. Now, once you've logged out all your accounts, uh, it's going to load for a bit, right? And once it's loaded, it's actually going to bring up this option right here. And here, you're going to want to click on the settings icon in the top right corner of the screen. And you want to go ahead and remove every single one of the accounts that you have on here. You might only have to remove the account that you want notes on, but I would suggest removing all of them. And then once you've done that, you can go ahead and log back into your accounts and see if that actually worked. So I know this method works for a lot of people, so you can go ahead and test that out. But those are the three methods that I have for you today. And if those three don't work, then you might just want to try asking uh, asking Instagram support. So go into support and then asking them to give it to you. But that those are the three methods that I know that work the best. So that is how you get notes on Instagram on iPhone. So I hope this video is helpful. If it was, I'd really appreciate it. Like and subscribe. If this worked for you, go ahead and leave a comment in this comment section below so that people know that it works. And then if it didn't, leave any questions you have in the comment section below. I'll do my best to answer them. And I will see you guys next time.